there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how I use Dollar Tree's DAP in other words, it's caulking. I don't use it in my bathroom. Well, I do use it in my bathroom, but I also use it when I'm DIYing because it is such a huge money saver and there are so many ways that you can use it that are gonna open up so many doors and possibilities when DIYing. I can't wait to show you what I do with it for today's DIY. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let's do some Christmas DIYing on a budget using DAP, because why not? That's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. Have you seen these DIY wood pieces at Dollar Tree? Maybe you passed them up thinking, what am I gonna do with these? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how you can bring them to life. I'm going to start off with puffy paint before I jump into what I use the caulking for. Since Frosty has a black hat, I figured puffy paint was perfect for his hat. Right around this time of year, the Christmas season, I love to DIY with puffy paint. I'm not sure why it brings it out in me, but it does. Puffy paint adds dimension, it adds texture, it adds personality. Those three things that I love to add to my DIYs and it's pretty budget friendly. I get mine at Walmart because I find it's the cheapest there. And so Frosty's hat is gonna get a nice good coating of this black puffy paint. Now because Frosty is a snowman, I want my snowman to look like it's made of snow and I can easily achieve that look using caulking that you can get from none other than the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So there's no need to buy it anywhere else, spending that extra money when you can buy a few tubes of this and it is gonna add those three things that I love, dimension, personality, and texture. Now wait for it because this is not all that I do with caulking. I am going to show you a hack using this that is such a money saver and it is so mind blowing. I think you're gonna love it. But for now, yep, I'm using it to add snow, that textured snow look to my snowman. And I wanna say that this snowman probably took one tube of this. I found that once you've applied the majority of your caulking to your piece, if you go in with a wet paintbrush, you can kind of fill in some of those areas that are a bit harder to fill in using the tube of the caulking. And you just really wanna make sure that you keep your paintbrush wet and you can move that caulking around just as if you would with paint. Now this is not the hack. There is still a hack that you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for and it is one I think you're gonna love. It opens up tons of possibilities for DIY. And did I say, it's a real money saver. Now for the hack. If you take some acrylic chalk paint, I find that that works the best. You can mix it with the caulking, in turn giving you a colored caulking. What is the benefit of that? The benefit of that is, in essence, it's kind of like puffy paint, but you've got a colored caulking, which is going to give you the texture that regular caulking has when you apply it to something, but now it's colored. Fun, right? Such a money saver. If you wanna buy puffy paint, you can, but I feel like caulking really has a totally different texture than puffy paint, and so I love working with it and I love coloring it. I made a bunch and have them in containers on standby waiting for my Christmas DIYs this season. And just a quick tip, when working with puffy paint, I would not use a paintbrush to apply it to your DIY. Just use the bottle itself because 
that's what's going to give you the dimension and the texture and you want to be generous with the amount of puffy paint that you do add because again that is just going to add to the personality of your DIY. If you're anything like me when it comes to doing the features of a face that's always been super intimidating to me but I have found that if I just don't overthink it and I simplify it and do something as simple as using dots for something like this snowman, I'm gonna get an adorable outcome and it was easy to do. Frosty needs some rosy cheeks and an easy way to do that is to just take a paintbrush and rub it along an oil pastel and it's gonna give you that nice, soft, blended look. Dollar Tree's got oil pastels, I definitely pick up a pack because I had three of what I'm calling a string puppet from Dollar Tree. Go pick them up. They are so fun to DIY. I'm gonna use the caulking and add texture to all of them. Now, all three of these are gonna come together in a really cool DIY, and this is gonna be a statement piece that I think you're gonna love to add to your Christmas decor each season. And so for this one, I was doing the elf and I used the maze with the caulking and then I used some of Waverly's fern and Waverly's crimson are the colors that I used for my elf and my Santa. Now for the face with my elf and Santa, I used what was already on the plaque as a guide and I used my puffy paint just to fill it in and again, just go in with some oil pastel and rosy up those cheeks. For this next step, you're gonna need one of these longer plaques. You can get these all year round. This is one I had in my stash. On the back side of it, because it's a blank canvas there, I'm gonna take my wood glue by super glue. Love this step. You can find this in the tool section of Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna outline the plaque with the glue because I'm gonna frame this plaque with the tumbling tower blocks at Dollar Tree. You're gonna need about two packages of these because I stacked them three high to really frame out this plaque. And Yep, you're gonna need three of these 18 inch craft sticks that you can also get from Dollar Tree by Crafter Square. And I'm gonna give all three of them a good coating with some of Waverly's white chalk paint. And I did paint the base as well, but I didn't show that, but you get the idea. Just give it a nice good coating of some white paint. Shame on me, yet again, I forgot to press record, but I took those sticks, I glued each of my string puppets onto the stick. You can see how I did it here. And I glued the stick onto the base that I framed with Jenga blocks. I added all three of my string puppets to this base, which you will see here in a second. I am so sorry for not pressing record. I placed all three of the string puppets there on the plaque. I started with Santa in the center and put the elf and the snowman off to the side. Then taking some of Dollar Tree's floral moss, I'm gonna fill in the bottom of this with this because it's gonna act as a filler. And to that moss, I'm gonna be adding some buffalo snow. I like buffalo snow because it doesn't have glitter in it and the texture of it really looks like snow. You can find this buffalo snow at Walmart. You're gonna pay about $3.88 a bag for it. And I just love the look of it because it's gonna give the base of this DIY the look that it just snowed. And Santa, my elf, and my snowman are standing in it. Right, right. Let's take a look at this DIY. What a fun piece, right? Using these DIY wood pieces that you can get at Dollar Tree right now. I say go pick these up, make this, and take a picture of it and send it to me on Facebook or Instagram so I can feature you as a crafter of the day. Who is today's KB Creations crafter of the day? Well, it's going out to Tammy Super, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY lantern made out of Dollar Tree's tumbling tower blocks. Tammy, I am loving your Christmas spin on this. Thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today.
I say the next time you're in Dollar Tree, go pick up a few of these DIY wood string puppets. Yeah, and do this DIY with me. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. If you're looking for more Christmas DIY inspiration, well, make sure to click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my oldie but goodies. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please because I sure as heck am trying right now. Bye for now.